Hello and welcome to the CFM 56-5B training session number three. In this training session, we are going in deep regarding the engine control system. Is this engine is mechanically controlled or electrically controlled? For sure, it is electrically controlled. It is a modern technological equipment. So it has an advantage with the full authority digital engine control, or what we are calling it in aviation, the FADIC principle. So let's go in deep within the engine control system. In order to increase engine reliability and efficiency, the full authority digital engine control FADIC gives the full range of engine control. This is to achieve steady state and the transient engine performances when operated in combination with aircraft subsystems. Each engine is controlled by an electronic control unit, or ECU. It is a dual channel computer located on the engine fan case. This electronic control unit controls the engine during start and all operations. And the electronic control unit manages engine thrust and protects against overspeed and over temperature. This is by controlling the engine subsystems. So, the electronic control units also monitors all engine subsystems and the sensors for failures. When the engine is running, power for FADIC operation is supplied by a dual output FADIC alternator located on the accessory gearbox and driven by the accessory gearbox. So, the FADIC is an engine control philosophy, or it is a system, has a dual channel ECU and the following peripherals, like the hydromechanical unit, dedicated FADIC alternator, compressor control systems, clearance control systems, start system, thrust reverser system, oil fuel temperature control system, fuel return valve, engine sensors, and electrical harnesses. So, the FADIC system is a philosophy for control the engine. The FADIC is equal the electronic control unit or engine computer plus the mentioned peripherals. So, the electronic control unit interfaces with various aircraft systems. Essential communication with the electronic control unit, like the thrust lever position and air data, is directed to and from the applicable systems and controls. But what about the non-essential communication? Non-essential communication, like auto thrust, centralized full display system, is routed through other computer, which is the engine interface unit of each engine. The engine interface units interface with various aircraft circuits and systems. And the data is then transmitted in a single stream to each ECU channel. So what about our third computer, which is the engine vibration monitoring? or engine vibration monitoring unit. Engine vibration monitoring is accomplished by the engine vibration monitoring unit. The engine vibration monitoring unit collects the vibration data from both engines, and the vibration information is displayed on the aircraft ECAM and is also available through the centralized full display system for troubleshooting. So let's summarize what we have said. The CFM 56-5B engine has three computers, which is the electronic control unit, engine interface unit, and the engine vibration monitoring unit. This is our training session for today. Please stay tuned for the next training session regarding the CFM 56-5B thrust reverser system. Thank you and goodbye.